In this video we're going to discuss digital logic structures and our first presentation is going to be about logic gates. Digital logic structures, uh, I have some links for you here. Some of the links may no, no longer work. I apologize for that. And first uh, subject today is to discuss uh, transistors. Transistors are electronically controlled switches which allow the electricity flow through uh, the source and the drain and it's controlled by the gate signal. A typical uh, <clears throat> transistor that's used in uh, uh, modern CPUs are based on metal oxide semiconductor technology. Again, you can read uh, about these types of transistors. And uh, it has three terminals, gate, source, and drain. So primarily what happens is that uh, the electricity uh, flows from the source to the drain. However, this flow of electricity can be controlled by the signal supplies supplied to the gate. So basically this works like a switch. If uh, the signal is present on this wire or not, would control whether the circuit will be uh, opened or closed. When the circuit is uh, open, it means that the electricity is not flowing through the transistor ter terminals and uh, the opposite is for the closed. There are two types of transistors, N-type and P-type. And in case of an N-type transistor, when the source and the drain are connected, like a piece of wire, uh, as I told you already, it's a closed circuit. And this happens when the gate is supplied 2.9 volts of electricity. So these are common uh, N-type transistor uh, circuits uh, symbols. And we have the source and the drain and the gate terminals. And once again, uh, this type of transistor uh, makes a closed circuit, which means that the electricity flows from the source to the drain in case when the gate is supplied uh, 2.9 uh, volts of electricity. p tight transistors uh, transistor is the opposite uh, type of control. In the case of a p-type transistor, uh, the uh, circuitly uh, circuitry closes uh, connection is made between the source and the drain in case when the gate uh, signal is at zero volts. CMOS stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor and it contains both P-type and N-type uh, transistors. So basically these are the circuits uh, that engineers call CMOS which allow us to construct uh, logical structures based on transistors. Logic gates or circuits that implement logic gates um, are the are subject of study for the next few slides. And again, these are some links that you may try uh, to read additional information. And our first example of the circuit uh, that implements logic gate is the inverter. So the idea of an inverter is to basically take a signal in the input and <clears throat> if the input is one uh, the inverter the output uh, terminal of the inverter uh, will uh, try to make it zero and the opposite is also true when this is zero then uh, the output will become one so that's the function of the inverter and um, uh, the way it works is that the input signal is supplied uh, to the two gates of two different types of transistors. 
One of them is a p-type, another one is an n-type. And we have uh, two levels of electricity. Uh, uh, one is at 2.9 volts, another one is at 0 volts, which also called a ground. And uh, in this uh, type of connection, when the input uh, signal is 0, then the p-type transistor closes its circuit and you can see that this allows the electricity to flow from the wire that has uh, 2.9 volts which means signal uh, at level one and makes a connection to the output so zero effectively is uh, reversed or inverted to become a one also because we have an n-type transistor connection over here uh, this uh, circuit is actually open so there is no electricity flow over here so this implements a conversion from 0 to 1 and that's the intention of uh, the in inverter gate in case when our input signal is set at 1 our inputs again uh, are directed to both of the gate signals uh, the control terminals of these two transistors and when it's one the n type transistor at the top opens so there is no more connection between these two terminals of the p type transistor on the opposite side the circuit closes inside the n type transistor and so we make a connection the output gets connected to the signal at the ground level and we effectively on the output side uh, we get zero so you can see that this is the intention the inverter takes zero and makes it a one in its output and it also takes uh, one and converts it to a zero so we get an, an inversion Often uh, when we're drawing uh, circuit diagrams, what we will see is that when we have a wire uh, that has some signal uh, on uh, its input, uh, inverter typically is shown simply like a bubble, just a small bubble in the wire. So that means that if it's one, it becomes zero on another side of things and if it's zero it becomes a one so we have the inversion of the input signal and uh, we need to recognize that uh, uh, these wires will always have an input side and the output side so just uh, a little bubble in the uh, indicator <clears throat> on top of the wire uh, signals uh, an inversion of this this type 